So carrying on from the um, little project that I did the other day to get the displays working on the AX80. And as you can see here, I've tried various processors. That was a Pico. That was a Arduino Every. That was, that was a Teensy. And now this is an ESP32, which is relatively cheap. And I've switched from the dual displays I had to a single display, which is a bit larger. Two, it's 1.8 inches. Um, ST7735, got its colour. So it actually allows me to have a little colour blob for the selection. So if I go into edit mode, you can see the parameter I'm editing lights up in a different colour. And when I change the parameter, there you go, it does that. And when I go through the presets, you'll see the display change. I was wondering if I can get little labels at the bottom. I've not tried yet, but I'm sure I can. And I can reverse them as I'm going. So these are very cheap. I can be these are like, um, I don't know, five or six pounds each. And I've got eight of these in stock. So really to deploy five isn't a big deal. Because a teensy would cost me 60, 60, 70 dollars. Whereas this thing is like, you know, five or six dollars maybe. And these are two or three, maybe four dollars each. So it's not too bad. Um, I was trying to improve this by instead of using I was going to convert the 5 volts with a level converter before it hit the 74 HCU 4154 but I found that incredibly noisy and the display was jittery as hell so I switched back to making these 5 volts and then converting to 3.3 volts here and here and here um, and then reading things in on the mux and that seems very very good um, I've managed to find a suitable working algorithm to manage the interrupts. I've never used an ESP32 before. Nightmare to use. Um, loads of problems setting up pins that you can't use if you've got to boot the damn thing. Spent about half a day working out which pins I couldn't connect to and which pins I could. And, and also the model of this ESP32, I have no idea, it's written on it, but um, which one to use in Arduino ID, I have no idea. Uh, I ended up just using the ESP dev module, and that seems to work. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I think I'll uh, I'll proceed with that and build, I'm going to build another one to do the next seven parameters. This is six parameters, I'm going to build the next one to do seven parameters with another ESP32 and uh, make sure that it's all fairly stable. And I also want to check out the plus and minus, like for the detune, you can have 0 to 99 where 50 is off. And I think that's handled in the AX80 rather than me having to do anything in the display. I think it actually um, triggers the uh, data lines accordingly. So it goes plus and minus itself. But I'm going to build one to test it now and see what happens. Okie dokie. Here we go.